Hey everybody, welcome back to Satisfactory. Look at them go! Look at all those particles being accelerated. It's so great. And hopefully it's not completely obliterating my power supply, but we're gonna go find out about that. But yeah, we are coming along. We got all sorts of stuff happening and doing things. It's going great. And as usual, our space elevator part is lagging behind our um, control module or whatever they call it these days. And I think that is mostly due to rubber. Now, a couple things I want to do. First off, on, while we're on this side, I want to check my power, which is not on this floor. So it looks like these are kind of all synced up now, which is what I didn't want. So, show me power. Oh, I guess I can see power here. Yeah, it's very close. Okay. Um, actually, I'm going to keep that pull there. Yeah, so rubber is basically what's holding up our controller. It's called a controller, right? Let's go to the loudest part of the factory to figure this out. It's not a controller. Uh, no, it's an assembly director, this thing. Yes, this is what's being held up. And I'm pretty sure it's being held up by supercomputers, which are being held up by rubber. We have a bit of a rubber deficiency. So we are going to go deal with our power, which is subsequently going to also deal with our rubber, hopefully. But first things first, I turned off the supply line from... going to our rocket production our jet propulsion or whatever the heck it's called so there's no point in me sending supercomputers down there that's just a waste so I want why did I run this way I want to just remove that line basically so that all our computers are going into the assembly directors and not being wasted in other places so here they come Yeah, so these need the computers. But somewhere in here there's a split. Because the super computers also come into here, don't they? They don't. Okay. No. Not to here. Sorry. Into the jet propulsion area, which is here? These guys. Never mind. They do not, in fact, come in here. Okay, so never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Supercomputers are going where they need to go. There's just not enough of them. So, let's go do that, shall we? This evening, I have a very fancy beverage. It is called water. But it's fancy carbonated water, because I'm fancy like that. Uh, basically, it's a thousand degrees in here. I didn't feel like drinking booze so water it is cheers okay um, so we are going to go add more fuel power generators to our our fuel supply here which is subsequently hopefully going to result in us having much more rubber. But, en route, we're also going to try to hit up some more geysers, just to get some of that free, free power. Delicious free power. I do want to grab one more stack of motors. Might as well max out our frames. And I should probably... Well, I'll get that too. Probably get another batch of those. And I might get rid of a stack of supercomputers. Oh wait, no, supercomputers are needed for geothermal. Okay, no, we won't do that. Let's 
Should I just grab a, f a full thing here? Do we need a full thing? I don't think we need a full thing. We'll take a full thing. <laughs> oh, decisions. Okay. Uh, I was talking about getting more motors too, so obviously that plan has fallen through somewhat. And let's max out our... Ugh, well, we're going where plastics happen, so that's probably not necessary either. And I got a whole bunch of rubber. For literally no reason. You can have some rubber back. Yeah, you can see rubber even here as refilling slowly, so we definitely have rubber problems. Um, that being said... Do you need a bunch of rubber? You do. But we're probably, 600 is probably plenty since we're going to the land of rubber. Okay, so let's go for a walk, shall we? We are going to walk our way over to the oil facility and we're gonna build a bunch of hydroelectric on route. So, or geothermal, I should say. Uh, with the geothermal, I was talking last episode I think or maybe two episodes ago about batteries to balance the geothermal so basically the batteries fill at a hundred and oh sorry a hundred megawatts per minute I think that's the rate a hundred megawatts per minute and the geothermal wells produce either 150 megawatts per minute or 300 megawatts per minute. So basically, the 300 wells, you need to have three batteries in order to balance those out. Are there seriously no geothermal en route? I thought there was one up here. This could be a fruitless walk. Uh, yeah, so the they need 300, or they need three batteries, the 300 wells. And 150 wells require two batteries to fill. So basically, however many geothermal wells we end up with, we want the appropriate number of batteries in order to help balance the power generation from them. Now, because we're not really getting into our battery supply, I'm not super concerned about balancing it that heavily. Um, we have... 33 batteries, I think. And I have no idea how many wells we have online. <laughs> but 33 batteries is, what, 11 of the, the big wells? Or 22 of the small wells? So I'm feeling like we're doing okay. Okay. So these geothermals I did know about, they're down over there. Oh, and I think we are going to try to utilize them because there's a bunch of them in that area. So we're going to nab a wire from you and head out over yonder. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's them right there. I do not have space for the slug, right? Oh, I do have space for the slug. That's suspicious. Why do I have space for the slug all of a sudden? Did I not have a completely full inventory when I left? I'm guessing no. Yeah, they're in here. Okay. Just the two, eh? I thought there was more of them. I thought it was like three or four in this area. Map? No, that's it. Okay. Well, what have we got? One full. And then you a half. Oh, you're like a super. There's 600 megawatt ones? 
I thought they were all 150 and... Oh my god. The future is here. Uh, I didn't realize they had ones that were that strong. Okay, so... That one needs six batteries, basically, to supplement it. Wow. That's pretty sweet. There's some down there. Yeah, we got you. Let's see what it says down over in that direction. Looks like nothing. That's probably in the pink forest. Huh. Interesting. Probably should have taken that zip line the whole way. Not to worry, we'll build ourselves a train. So I'm gonna go down to our ugly box. And we'll do another scan. But yeah, there might not be any more geothermal in this area. Oh, there was. Obviously not. That's so ugly. I have a design in my head for it, but I'm not working on it right now. I want to get this rubber up and running. No? Nothing? No? Okay, cool. Well, I've already got that one. Alright. I guess I was wrong. Still though, not bad. That's 600 megawatt one. Pretty nice. Okay, so let's go see what's going on in this horrible... ...level production area I've created for myself here. What's the deal here? So this rubber comes into here. Overflow goes that way. What is happening? Are we not loading rubber on here somewhere? Nothing. 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 I'm confused. Was the idea not to bring rubber over there? <laughs> Mighty spicy. Timetable. Electronics supply two. You come to field generator plastics. At field generator plastics, what are you loading up? Just plastic? Load only caterium ingots. Oh, because there's a transfer here, right? Things are transferring. No, nothing's transferring. This train is taking rubber. Where are you going? High level supply. So 
So that train's going real far. Um, okay. Interesting. Was there not an intent to load plastic on here? Or rubber on here? Was that not part of my grand strategy? Uh, hello? Uh, I'll be right back. Let me let me double check my calcs here. Okay. So, it looks like all we're doing here is loading up plastic. No rubber. Um, all the rubber for the electronics is coming from the frames area. So... Let's take a quick jaunt over to the frames. There is another oil well there that we can take advantage of. And there are two oil wells here that we can also take advantage of for more fuel generators. But for now, I'm mostly worried about rubber. And slightly worried about fuel. So I think what we'll do is we'll head over to frames We'll pump in... Oh, we'll get that other well hooked up. And we'll use the recipe that creates rubber directly. We're not going to do the, the rubber from resin. We're going to do rubber. And then we'll turn the heavy oil into fuel. And then we'll build a couple of generators to deal with um, fuel from heavy oil. So I want to prioritize the rubber. Um, that will, but it's not going to give us a whole lot of power. But it's giving us more power than zero, which is good. Ironically, once we do start getting more rubber, more things are going to, like more machines are going to come online. We're going to start using more power too, so. Sort of a downward spiral. But that's fine. On the plus side, I think we're going to be able to do this without resorting to nuclear power, which is good because I find nuclear power to be a bit of a grind. Fuel power is my jam, for sure. Yeah, I don't know what it is about nuclear power that bothers me so much. It's just, it's just really, I find it really painful to deal with. I don't know. I could, like, if I plan for nuclear power from the get-go so I have all the, like, extra parts being created in order to supply a nuclear industry, it probably wouldn't be so bad. But I always just leave it to the very end and I have to build, like, a brand new facility just to deal with nuclear power. I think that's kind of what bugs me. So, yeah, de definitely partially, if not entirely, my own fault, but that's how I do. Okay, let's go see what's going on here. So, rubber. I'm willing to bet there is no rubber here. Oh, there's some rubber here. Not a whole lot, though. And this is what's holding up, because this is the rubber that's being exported to electronics. So, there is an untapped oil well down here. Let's tap it. And then slug it. I also don't like that some of these aren't running. Why not? My god, there's two. You don't say. Oh, it's pure, too. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's deal with the pure first. And 
you know we're slugging this out. 600 per minute. So. If we... Build a thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty-eight meters? It might it might. I might be able to sneak some oil wells in here. Let's find out. That's not great. Okay, let's, let's first see if they even fit. Uh, production. Yes. Refinery. Well, they do fit. Yeah, okay, cool. That is all well and good. Let's produce some stuff. Uh, I think we might have to produce it more over here, though. So let's do that. don't remember the ratios for this. So, if I put a refinery here... We can go that way too. I think we should. Perfectly good space over here. Let's see what we got. I would like rubber. You. You're going to give me 20 rubber per minute versus... Recycled rubber, you say. But that uses fuel. I don't want that. That is a lot of rubber, though. You also... They both give me 20 rubber per minute, eh? Interesting. You use 30 crude. So which recipe is more rubber efficient? I thought this one gave me more rubber. It doesn't, though. Like, versus the residual rubber. This one uses water, though. Uh, what does fuel require? Residual fuel. You just take fuel. Well, let's do this. This seems a little easier to deal with. Now, this does take, or we are producing, I should say, 600 rubber per minute here. Uh, these are not Mark II pipelines. Oh, they are. Okay. Never mind. Rubber. Cool. And 
the rubber line is over here. Right here. You are Mark IV, right? Yeah. Now, just out of curiosity, this is all running, right? You are my rubber producers, and you are all running. So I'm producing, like, a bunch of rubber. These are my fuel. These are my rubber. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, so I'm producing 360 rubber per minute. That's not enough, eh? Intriguing. You got you already got a bunch. So let's get this all hooked up. And we're probably going to have to increase that belt as well to mark 5. Which is not a bad thing. But it is a thing. That we're going to need to deal with. Okay, now, next question. All of this oil that we're pumping out of here. Or all this heavy oil, I should say. What are we going to do with that? Guess we're gonna find out in a second. Um, we need to create fuel. That is for certain. Let's do one more while we're here. What are we clipping? Why are you giving me clipping errors? Really? Oh, that's that's not good. This whole thing clips? It does. Oh dear. This must be just a little too high. Okay. Um not great. Definitely not great but workable. Rubber. So you're using three. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen of six hundred. Should I just blow all my slugs on these things? Just to get them going? Let's get the, the oil dealt with first. Okay. So, here. You are not going to work. You're going to have to be a little bit lower for my fuel. Or we pump the fuel somewhere else. 
We are kind of running out of spaces for that, though. Two fourths. Well, we're gonna slug these out. Fifty per minute. Fifty, one hundred, one fifty. absolutely annihilate all of our power here. <laughs> okay, and this is going to be using 75 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What's 75 times 6? 450. So we can actually pull out one of you guys. Plonk you in right here. Perfect. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 300 is you. And you gotta be Mark 5. Now we gotta figure out what to do with all this heavy oil. But that should boost up our rubber production enough to keep things running, hopefully. I mean, we basically just create that same amount of rubber up there. Right? Like, these slugged out are basically the equivalent of those upstairs refineries. Which, does that mean then that I need that many fuel generators to deal with it? I uh, I really hope not. Because otherwise I'm just going to be building a big oil dump. Okay. Let's do stuff here. Start getting this heavy oil dealt with. What is the re our heavy oil? Oh yeah, okay. Lots. The answer is lots. You could have connected a little less weird. In my opinion. Have we made any assembly directors since the beginning of this episode? 2033. That's brutal. I don't think we've made any. Like, is this that broken that that's what's happening? Uh, fuel. From heavy oil. Okay, so we need five refineries to deal with these. But you're not running because you're not getting crude oil. Why not? Because I haven't connected the pipes. <laughs> Alright. 
There we go. Now we're tanking our power. Oh, the batteries are still charging. Cool. Uh, let's just confirm. There's six of these, 300. Okay, so yes, we need five refineries over here. Like that. That? I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. Because they're not going to fit in here, correct? Oh no, you fit here. Oh, it's just under there they don't fit. Right. Can we squeak five refineries in here? Maybe. You know what? I think we can. So let's adjust. Um... Do this. Go there for a moment. Okay. Five refineries. You guys do not explode, do you? You do explode. Well, that's great news. That's not so great. That's fine, we can fix it. Come on. Come on. Yes. Fuel, sir. Oh, the crow goes away, too. Interesting. So I do have actually quite a bit of space out in this way to work with. So I could expand this even more. Very interesting. This does not seem like 300 coming down per minute. I got it. I got to say, it does not seem correct. Next issue, this thing, this giant mushroom thing, it's not in a great spot. Gotta say, this is going pretty good. Don't know what we're doing with the fuel yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be great. So, in the future, if I were to build in the same area, I would definitely be shipping the uh, fuel out of here and out to like the desert or something
There is not enough space in this biome for this many things. <laughs> this many refineries. Okay. That is 300 fuel. What is wrong with you? No power. I thought I connected you. No? Okay. Power, no power. You are probably full of fuel, would be my guess. That is correct. And we now have 200 fuel. We need 14 power generators. Oh, you're slugged out. You're all slugged out. Are you slugged out? I was kind of hoping to see what the base fuel use was, to be perfectly honest. It's 12. We need 17 fuel generators. Okay. I mean, on the plus side, that's a bunch more power, right? <laughs> yeah, that's good. I think I want to bring this this way. How's that look? We can even go a little bit farther. Whoa. That was a weird snap. Why did it snap like that? Stop being weird, game. Fuel generators. We need 12, I said. 17, I said. It's kind of like 12, only more. God, I don't even know I have enough parts for 17 fuel generators. have enough motors, that's for damn sure. Huh. I'll have enough motors for one. So, I mean, that's better than zero. And we're definitely not making assembly directors, which is super hot. Okay, I'm going to have to go on a scouting mission and see what the heck is going on here. Probably go to like hereabouts. 
I'll we'll have to do some shenanigans. Okay, motors. Where are the closest motors? I'm guessing not anywhere close. That's not great. Wow, this giant brain thing is blocking the output of this generator. We're gonna have to try some some interesting things here with that. Do any of these fit? You do. You don't. Okay, so it's gonna be like directly in line. But the snap does not work. So let's redo this pipe a little farther out. this is going to be weird too. But let's see how weird it is. Okay. It's not so weird that it doesn't work, so I'm, I'm here for that. This, though, <laughs> is going to be interesting. Excellent. That's exactly how I wanted to deal with it. Oh, I gotta flush this pipe. So, motors. <laughs> Where are the closest motors? They don't. They don't contain different fluids. What's your What's your problem? It's fuel, man. Heavy oil residue. Full pipe network. Flush it all, my guy. There's nothing in this one. Nothing in this one. Nothing in this one. Is it just this? Weird. Okay. Now. Does this make it up here? It does. Why are we struggling though? Why are we struggling with power? Do I need to put a pump in here? Probably need to put a pump in here. Let's put a pump in here. 
You know what? That that is definitely not necessary. Yeah, now we talking. Oh, baby. Okay. I am going to get motors, and then I shall return momentaneously. Okay, we are back here at Central Processing, and we are being distracted real quick. I want to figure out why assembly directors aren't, aren't happening. Why no assembly directors? Like, it's not a lack of computers, because we've had a few supercomputer deliveries. So what, what gives? Like, we're already halfway done our nuclear pasta. And assembly directors just are not happening. You. Production paused. Because I paused you. Why? <laughs> I guess is my question. Why did I pause these? I think I came back and checked. Did I pause them when we were waiting for... I must have paused them waiting for supercomputers. Brilliant. Okay, well that mystery solved. We're going back to... Frames. <laughs> we're going to build the rest of these power generators. In a moment. All right, we are almost back. Just gotta delete this lad here. Let's go. So 17 fuel generators. It's gonna be interesting. It's definitely gonna be interesting. I don't know how much space we have down here to work with. I don't think I have space for 17. <laughs> it's my bigger concern. And really, I probably should have grabbed some more concrete. Also, probably would have been a smart thing to do. I can go with that way quite a ways. Well, let's see. Let's see how we do here. Okay. That was pretty badly done. Sure. Oh, you're already marked too. Oh, that's convenient. So this is going to give us almost 3,000 megawatts more. Which is pretty great. Because we are really towing the line here. <laughs> like, I think... Yeah, see, we're, we're using our batteries here. We did use them for a little bit. So yeah, we got to get these up and running. Floor is too steep. I don't believe you. Ah, uh, actually, you know what? I do believe you. That was moderately over the edge. Cool. So, more fuel. More rubber. We turned our directly assembler 
or direct her what is it assembly director assemblers those have been turned back on which is good because those are important everything's looking up Also, not a hundred percent sure where I'm going with this. I guess I'm gonna curve it off in that direction again. Probably right here, actually. Oh, that's not gonna work the way I wanted to. Um. Could you be a doll and fit in here nicely? Oh, come on, you're so close. Ah, I think you could have fit a little nicer than that. That's seven, so ten more. Easy. get a bunch of slugs so we can slug some stuff out if need be. Very nice. So, how ambitious am I feeling? We got four, eight. I can just slug two of these out and call it a day. I think we're better off popping slugs in the ones at the front. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh god, how did I lose count? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, yes. Uh, the first four can have a slug. I have no slugs. Oh, sorry. I have slugs. I do not have them crafted. The power shards. So let's craft some power shards. I got a bunch of slugs on the way back from uh, Central Processing. There's a bunch of purples in the Titan Forest that demanded my attention. How are we doing for time? Oh, we're going to be right on time. Get these guys knocked out of here. And we'll get them slugged. Put one in four of these. Oh, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. That combined with our geothermal, that's a, a decent enough buffer. I like that a lot. So. I think we have solved this problem. We just gotta make sure our rubber is actually happening. Which means I have to do the rest of the belts inside here to mark five. But after that, everything should be good. So, 
that is it for now. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Really hope you enjoyed. If you did, give us a like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. We'll see you next time. Cheers.